Good evening, everyone, and welcome to XEW Extreme Elite Wrestling. So here tonight to start. Joshua Little bringing you all the action as always. Uh, fans, we didn't realize that last week our commentary uh, was actually malfunctioning and we didn't have commentary the entire show. For that, we apologize, but nevertheless, we are here tonight, ready to go. Commentary is working. Uh, like I said, I'm Joshua Little, here to bring you Extreme Elite Wrestling live from Baltimore Week all <coughs> for Extreme elite wrestling so here we go opening match up here ladies and gentlemen and as you can see our we got a 30 man over the top of battle royal and it is not looking good already for reefer maddox as it is reefer maddox and jason muerte jr to start out this 30 man over the top rope battle royal reefer maddox will be featured uh in the coming weeks in a single elimination eight man uh tournament to decide the first ever xcw international champion Tonight he's battled Jake Oswald for the ring, that being Yamamoto, or Yamamoto, uh, Norinaga. Norinaga runs right into Jason Muerte Jr. to start out that night here. Jason Muerte Jr. is looking to destroy anyone in his path here tonight. Look out. Good God, what a spine buster there by. Reefer Maddox. Number four entry makes his way down to the ring. It is Blake Albright. Blake Albright comes right in the ring and catches Jason Muerte Jr. from behind with a beautiful neck breaker. Four men populate the ring. The 26 more remain backstage ready to go here tonight. Looks like Albright, who is also ooh, in that tournament, will get the first elimination of the evening as he plays it. Jason, oh, excuse me, uh, Rika Maddox over the ropes, and he is gone. Meanwhile, another entry in that eight man tournament, one that will be competing in his matchup in the tournament, the opening round here tonight. The uh, newest entry in the matchup, Ace Pro. Look out, Ace Crow and Jason Muerte Jr. can call behind him goes Jason Muerte Jr. The ring population has just been dividing in half as we went from four men in the ring to now only two. And now the newest member of the matchup, here comes Payne, they look for a big time running big boot, but instead gets caught with a hip toss there by Laura Nagy. Ooh! A big time boot there by Payne puts down Norinaga. Both of these men with the five of a and his opponent. Last week in our, our first ever episode, that being Resolution. Now, the newest member of the matchup, Sweet Lips Willie Wilcox, joins the field here. Look out, Ace Pro, beautiful moonshot after that back wheel trip there. And look out, Norinaga going for another ride as another one of those wheel belt tosses there. This time for Fleet Wilcox. So Willie really Wilcox now holding a gun neck for his boat. Now, number eight engine makes his way down to the ring. Here he is, another man who will be in the eight man tournament to decide the International Championship. Chris Canyon. And look out, Ace Crow has been eliminated by Sweet Lips Billy Wilcox. Meanwhile, Payne fights his way out of a uh, possible elimination there. Chris Canyon and Payne going at it. Both of these men trained all over the world, including Japan. With the likes of uh, 
Tsuba Tanaka and Shiro Toshiyuki. Now here we go, a new man making his uh, debut here tonight. Look out! And the thunder is closed all the Oh my god, that's an up in the finest carry. And look out, Chris Canyon with a beautiful Hurricanrana to eliminate Payne. Payne has been eliminated. He is gone. Airplane spin action by Leonardo. With Leonardo on the shoulders and now the finest carry, he just dumps him right back to the mat. And a clothesline nearly eliminated. Uh, sweet little Leonardo. I mean, it's actually black here. And look at him. This is all. Oh, all the other kind of double underhook face buster. Taken down Kobayashi Black. Black now. Fighting his way out of it. Going for a spinning back kick. But to know that they are trading shots here. Look. Street looks really real fast. Aldridge. Richest man in the car, self-proclaimed the richest man in the car, fighting the round table. With Noah Naga and now the newest man in the world matchup. Looks like Alex Hero has joined the field. Uh-oh. Came to the outside by Liam Aldridge. Aldridge is looking good here in his debut matchup here. We will see him in singles action later on tonight versus Joe Wright. Another man who will be debuting his best in extremely aggressive. Look out. Uh oh. Sweet looks really real cops looking to get rid of oh the Kobayashi Black and it looks like. Oh man, Aldridge up and oh uh he was instead he gets caught. A hell of a power slam there. Wow. Sweet looks really real cops. That being the newest member of the matchup, Mike Rizzi, the extreme hardcore legend. Uh oh, and he's got a hold of Sweetness by the throat. Kobayashi Black has been eliminated, and so has Sweetness as he gets chosen out of the ring. His tag team partner, Daniel Love, the doctor, is in the house as he hits the ring hot and sweat. Roll could be in trouble here. Likewise, he's fending off the elimination there as he fights his way back in the way. Look out! The Doctor Nails. A beautiful finisher there. That little bit of stone of sorts. Without a bit of super kick. Oh, he almost hit him with an uh, uh, eye poke there. Instead gets caught. Look out! All these men cramming him there with a flat one. Chris Perone. Long time veteran in call. Nails his beautiful cradle shot there. That up and smoke diamonds very slam. Push is all over the newcomer Aldrich. But meanwhile, Dr. Love could be in trouble here. As Mike YZ along with Alex Hero have gotten the elimination. Here we go, we are halfway through the field as number 15 makes his way down to the ring. He is one third of the Cowboys at home, Travis Red. Travis Red is going off here. Look at this, goes right after the member of the tag team, the race, Alex Hero. The triple slam, slamming him all over the place. out the race and the Cowboys and hell most uh, strangers to each other as they have fought all over the place. The XCW will be no different. Look out big time four on shots by Travis Rand. A beautiful close on the follow. Oh my goodness. Look out. The newest member of the match up here Joe Wright. And look at this, Joe Wright just having fun, the rookie showing his uh, moves off here tonight, 
making his debut here with us in the opening battle royale. Look out, Travis Ward with a beautiful old side and neck break on his shorts. Beautiful uh, maneuver there, white legs, if you will. I can't believe that. We are all still in this matchup. There's a new, uh, a new one there in the matchup. The new starting to throw up. Really popular with the man with power. You may see an elimination before you know it. Oh my goodness, Alex Hero just laid out. Push just laid out. Joe White is going off with the closing. Still, he might rise all the way to the outside. He has been to the end of six minutes. Popular for winning now and now. Good points. Vladimir, he's next up. He's next up now. Beautiful power down there by Alex Hero. Because Nets off goes right after the newcomer, Liam Aldridge. But Aldridge now got him to drop fish in his suplex. The beautiful maneuver there. Pushed along. Battling it out with Travis Red here. While Christian Kai is a new member of that matchup. We also see him. has been eliminated by Joe White. And Joe White is on the move as he sends Chris Cologne to the outside as well. And now, another Good God, Joe White has just cleared out the path of the population of the game here. And now, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the man who will be working with later on tonight, Liam Aldridge. Meanwhile, Coast to coast drop kick. Busting open Alex Hero. Now here comes another man who is from the Bloodsport Division. Tiago Braga looking to go after Alex Hero. And look at this. Got him up in the neck like an old man. And Liam Aldridge has just been eliminated by Joe Wright. Like I said, those two. Making their debut here tonight with us. The NFC Dublin. And Joe Wright over making uh, his one on one game against the Later tonight. Now that we got unfinished business will be taken care of. Both of those men making their XCW debuts here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh oh. A Russian juggernaut got a hold of Joe Wright. Takes him to the ropes, but no, with a chop block after the escape, Joe Wright saves himself. And look out. Beautiful inverted sequence to take down. One of the Bloodsport competitors that he is, Tiago Bryant. And now, Tiago fighting his way out of it. Here comes Scott Cannon, the other uh, member of. The Cowboys are now, look out, Joe Wright has been eliminated, and now, Braga with two eliminations back to back, not only taking out Joe Wright, but also taking out his arch nemesis, who's next up. And Scott Cannon with a beautiful, finest carry TK on the neck breaker to Alex Hill. Alex Hill has had the living hell beat out of him here now. He still remains in this matchup. And now, look out. Here comes another man making his debut here with us tonight. Kevin Frost. Kevin Frost is in the matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And you better watch out. Frost has got it up. He tries to power man and all the way out of the ring. Kevin Frost is ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, here with us, with extreme weakness. This our pre-show battle royal before the truth st uh, show starts here. Look out. Ooh, shot for Look out. Alex 
who are still staying in this. A springboard backflip to land on his feet, only to get away from it. And look out, his tag team partner is in the ring. Bryce Canyon and Canyon now taking him all the way to the ropes. Perhaps Canyon looking to get rid of his tag team partner, Alex Hero. These two will team up later on tonight. No friends in a battle royal, as it would seem. One member of the race eliminates another. Bryce Canyon there turning his attention to Kevin Frost. But Scott Cannon and Thiago Braga continue to battle it out. Meanwhile, becomes another man here. The great Gregory Genther. This man is damn near seven feet tall, but he got demolished last week in the debut episode by Iron Dragunov. And everybody got introduced to Iron Dragunov at the expense of the Ohio State uh, veteran getting demolished by him in, in a minute. It was a very short match to say the least. Literally three moves by Dragunov and that was game over for the great Gregory Jacob. Uh-oh, look out, we got two simultaneous uh, Elimination attempts here. One is going to Kevin Frost, Drew Jordan. Meanwhile, the newest member of the matchup, Shiro Toshiyuki, has joined the field. Scott Cannon, ooh, almost ran into Bryce Cannon's, uh, like a rolling, oh, uh, rolling four there, super kick by the great Gregory Gunther, but not enough to eliminate Scott Cannon. Meanwhile, Shiro goes right after the great Gregory Gentham. Uh oh, and the race versus as the newest member of the matchup, T.J. Black, joins the fold here. Uh-oh, the great Gregory Gentham now. Got a hold of Shiro. Takes him into the corner. Nice reversal there by Shiro. And Shiro with a much needed reversal. Very close on the great Gregory Gentham over the ropes, and he is gone. Shiro, you also find in that eight-man tournament for the uh, international championship. And oh man, and there's another man who will also be in the tournament with a beautiful German suplex. As soon as he gets in the ring, a suplex machine, the All-American, the one and only. Oh, Matt, or excuse me. Mike Miller, and Mike Miller a suplex in anything that moves here, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Miller, a folk style wrestler called up TKO by Cannon. One third of the Cowboys who held the women's tag team titles last week in an opening uh, debut episode. And look out, here comes NCW's uh, Chris Kazarian. He's here tonight. Shiro has been eliminated there. And Kazarian here. Looks like he, uh, he is a special guest tonight in Baltimore, Maryland. Kazarian looking to do whatever he wants here. And XBW, beautiful kicks. Master of the kicks is Chris Kazarian. I've commentated many, many of his matches, and tonight he looks like he wants to go toe to toe with the XBW roster here in the opening. Battle Royal pre-show match. And look out, here comes Jason Sharp in the last entrance here in our, in our uh, opening Battle Royal. Scott Cannon has been in the ring the longest. He and Kazarian uh, and TJ Black now looking to go at it. And look out, TJ Black could be in trouble here as Mike Miller and Kazarian work together and get the elimination. TJ Black is gone. 
Meanwhile, here comes Kazarian's tag team partner. The one and only Nick Saban. And Kazarian got the Kazarian special there. And look out, no love lost between the tag team partners here. As Saban gets put down with a tornado kick by Kazarian. Kazarian is going crazy here in the Battle Royal. Super kick there as he gets caught with that. Nick Saban now going off here. Got him up. Ooh, beautiful. Double under the long, long game. That's Polish hammer there by Scott Cannon. Scott Cannon is still in the matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. And now, here comes Paulo Braga. Paulo Braga, a blood sport technician. Master of the cage. But here tonight, there is no cage. It's all about throwing your opponent out of the ring. Who will be the man? I don't believe we have any other entrance here tonight. And Chris Kazarian, thanks for coming. XCW's Mike Miller has gotten the elimination, sending them home. Now Mike Miller's going after Scott Cannon here. Paulo Braga, Jason Sharp. Mike Miller, Scott Cannon, and Nick Saban. These guys populate the ring. Only one guy can walk away the victor here. Mike Miller, ooh, almost got eliminated. Skinning the cat with a kick there. And look out, Paul with a hell of a knee, the destroyer takes down Nick Saban. Another crushing knee there by Paulo Braga, but Jason Sharp is going off here. Jason Sharp, who hasn't been seen in NCW or Paul Wrestling as a whole in quite some time, now making his comeback here with us in XEW. Scott Cannon of the Cowboys from hell. This ain't looking good for him. He's still in the fight though. This man is fighting back for all he's worth. Rolling for a shot put down. Jason Sharp. Oh, another one to put down Paul O'Brien as he caught him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Caught him off guard. Meanwhile, Nick Saban. He's got a hold of Paul O'Brien. Got him up and choke slams the blood sport technician right out of the ring. We are down to four, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Cannon gets launched into the air and caught with a neck breaker there. Beautiful maneuver there. And look out, Mike Miller, the suplex machine, going off here. Mike Miller says it is Miller time here, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Saban now. Going after Mike Miller. Jason Sharp and Scott Cannon. These four men, only one can walk away the victor of the opening battle royal here this evening. Who will it be? Mike Miller fights his way out of a possible elimination. As does Nick Saban. Look out. Everybody throwing a nice, nice, uh, nice hip toss there to take down Scott Cannon. And look out, Jason Sharp is gone, and we are down to three. Who will it be? Scott Cannon, Mike Miller, Nick Saban. Ooh, a little double team action there. Both of them coming with big time right hands to knock down Mike Miller. Uh-oh, Nick Saban got Scott Cannon up by the throat and choke slams him all the way out of the ring. We are down to just two. It's Mike Miller and Nick Saban. Mike Miller, of course, in that eight-man tournament. 
Perhaps his matchup will be here this evening. Mike Miller comes out with the Miller Time German suplex. His finishing maneuver. And now he's looking to dunk his opponent right over the top rope here. Got him up. Mike Miller looking to do the unthinkable, the all-American suplex machine. Looking to eliminate his opponent, and he does. Kicks him all the way to the floor. And Mike Miller gets the job done here tonight in the opening Battle Royal matchup. Your victor, Mike Miller. Look at that, German suplex to the final entrance, and then takes him to the ropes. And Nick Saban can just say bye-bye. As he looked to dump him over, Nick Saban was trying to hang on to the ropes as best as he could. But at the end of the day, Mike Miller would end up kicking him all the way out, getting the final elimination, and winning this. 30-man Battle Royal Exhibition matchup. Congratulations to your victor here this evening in the opening pre-show Battle Royal, Mike Miller. The suplex machine gets it done here tonight. I'd like to welcome everyone here tonight to Baltimore, Maryland for XEW. Thank you all for joining us for Extreme Elite Wrestling. We are ready to go here this evening. And fans, before we go any further, I would like to introduce the card. First, we're going to have Vladimir Kuznetsov come out here and cut a promo. He's going to, I don't know, he might even call someone out. Next thing you know, we got the first opening matchup of the evening. Joel Wright and Liam Aldridge, two rookies, looking to make their debuts here with us in Extreme Elite Wrestling. Then we have the XEW champion, BG Nelson Rude, taking on Cranio Ray and Joe Jacobson in a triple threat match. We also got two Mastodons looking to collide here tonight as it is King Kong versus Godzilla to the max on steroids. Pain versus Iron Dragunov right here tonight. Also, we got a tag team matchup between the tag team champions uh, Shinigami and Anarchy taking on Bryce Canyon and Alex Hero uh, of the race in a non-title matchup, might I add. Also, after Rick Stu got involved last in last week's Turbo versus PDP one-on-one -on -one matchup at Resolution, here tonight these three will have a triple threat match in our co-main event, and also in our main event, we will have a fatal four-way matchup to decide who will be Nelson Rude's next number one contender. It's going to be Jeremy Barmore, Sean Kenny, Daisuke Karichi and the debuting Tom Fullery here tonight in a fatal four-way ladder match to decide who is the number one contender.
And then we've also got two other matches here for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as the International Championship Tournament will begin here tonight. You're going to see the first two matches of the tournament as there you see the tournament board on your screen now. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we will see Ace Crow take on Christian Kai in a singles matchup in the first match of the tournament. We will also see Blake Albright and TJ Black go one-on-one -on -one here in the International Championship Tournament. These are elimination matches. And we're going to find out who moves on in the tournament right here tonight. said everybody welcome to XEW's Baltimore Maryland weekly event thank you all for joining us I'm Joshua Little and here we go So now that we cover the card here, ladies and gentlemen, we've already told everybody what to expect here this evening. It looks like we're going to be featured. Vladimir Kuznetsov, the big Russian, is going to come out and he's going to have something to say. And I have no idea what this man has planned in his promo here tonight. But we will find out right here tonight on Extreme Elite Wrestling. <laughs> Tonight. 
here comes Paul O'Brien. He's not going to have anybody bad-mouthing him here in Extreme Elite Wrestling. Paulo Braga on his way down to the ring here tonight. We're going to find out. Just what he's got to say to uh, Vladimir Kuznetsov. These two, they're strangers to each other. The Destroyer and the Russian Juggernaut have met many times. And not just NCW, but BSF as well. Vladimir Kuznetsov going off on Paulo Braga right now. And Paulo Braga, he's trying to intimidate him. And Braga's not having any parts of it. He's standing his ground. like they want to go at it right here, right now, tonight. Paulo Braga and Vladimir Kuznetsa. Ladies and gentlemen, the history between these two is certainly evident as they have met not only in violent society fighting in the cage, but also met in NCW as well as last week on the debut episode of XCW. It looks like Paulo Braga has had enough of this charade here, talking back and forth with Vladimir Kuznetsov. He's just going to leave the ring. You better believe, ladies and gentlemen, the war of words is not where that is going to end. It's going to be eventually, but for right now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Opening matchup of the evening. It is the debut of two different superstars. That's right. Joel Wright. And Liam Aldridge and Joel Wright couldn't be any more different. Joel Wright, uh, good old boy, uh, certainly 
looks like he's from the south don't exactly know where he's from if he is watching put it in the comments on the side please nonetheless taking on the rich boy liam aldridge man who is the wealthiest of all aldridge versus Wright. both men making their debuts here with us tonight in x e w joel Wright missing some teeth liam aldridge uh certainly or a teeth, uh, mouth full of gold, if you will. You better believe this man believes he has a silver tongue. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, these two right here, we've already seen them cl uh, collide earlier tonight as Joel Wright eliminated Liam Aldridge from the opening battle royal. And here, Joel Wright looking to get the victory in his debut matchup against Liam Aldridge. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, live from Baltimore, Maryland, in the downtown rec center. This is Extreme Elite Wrestling, and we are ready to go with our first singles matchup of the evening. Here he is, introducing first. The one and only Joel Wright. And Joel Wright on his way down to the ring. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this guy had a strong showing in the opening battle royal on the pre show. And now, here tonight. We're going to see how he fares as he steps into the ring for his first ever singles matchup in XEW. Joel Wright definitely looks ready to go here tonight in this singles affair. And here's his opponent on his way down to the ring, Liam Aldridge. Liam, Liam Aldridge says he is so pretty that he should be put on the face of the $100 bill. And I'm going to tell you what, if that's not vanity in its finest, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what to call it. Nonetheless, Liam Aldridge, Mr. Money Maker, on his way down to the ring now. And we're going to see how he fares. Singles competition versus Joel Wright. Fans, if you're just joining us, we've already had a 30-man opening battle royal on the pre-show, which... Uh, the suplex machine, Mike Miller, walked away with the victory. And now, here tonight, in our official opening matchup of the evening, Liam Aldridge takes on Joel Wright. Both men making their debuts here with us in XEW. So here we go, Joel Wright, Liam Aldridge, CW, opening matchup, let's go. Both men coming out of the gate strong with strikes back and forth early. Nice uh, striking battle here between both men. Oh, oh Liam Aldridge now. We're gonna taunt above his downed opponent. He is just going off here. Thunder is melted punches there. And Liam Aldridge fighting his way back into the matchup quite early. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Full Nelson. He's just banging his face. 
into the top turnbuckle. And we got yet another two -pack. We look like a running uh, look. We look like a knee to the midsection where to take down his opponent. Look, man, getting reverses back and forth early here in this matchup. Aldridge is running three guys out of the corner following that close line. Now Joel Wright, front face lock, lets it go there. Ooh, nice shot to the gut. But it looks like the faster of the two. I can tell you what, these guys are just trying strikes back and forth. And now, uh oh, Joel Wright, look at the scale to the top rope here. Now, beautiful knee drop from the top rope to his opponent. Cole Nelson lifting face back. And then a spear to follow. He was going for the pin off the spear. But not enough to put away Liam Aldridge. This matchup will continue here. And now, a complete control with a beautiful discus clothesline, flatlining. Liam Aldridge now drags him to the center of the ring, going for the pin off the map. But Aldridge gets a shoulder up, and this matchup will continue. Nice reverse here. And Aldridge now looking to get the crowd behind him here. Oh, look out. Got an inside of the trailer here. Going for a quick pin, but not enough to put away Joel Wright. Aldridge now. Big time uh, shot there. Oh. Nice German suplex and now a rip cord clothesline. Looking to go for the pin off of that. Could that be enough? No. The moneymaker, Aldridge, not putting enough oomph behind that clothesline to get the job done there. Uh-oh. Aldridge, oh, plants him down with a pedigree. Going for the panel. Two and only a two count there as Cole, or excuse me, Joel Wright gets the shoulder up. Aldridge looking to control the pace here. With a rear chin lock on Joel Wright. Yeah. It looks like Joel Wright has had enough here and he fights his way out of the rear chin lock. And yet again, another Cole Nelson lifting slam. Uh oh. Went for a close line, but Aldridge gets caught with the Hiranagi and then caught off guard with the spear here by Joe Wright. And that looks like it is enough to get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner here this evening in the singles competition, Joe Wright. Joe Wright gets the victory here this evening. And look at this. Aldridge looking to shake his hand there. A nice, sportsman, nice sportsmanship here between the winner here this evening, Joe Wright. Not only eliminates him in the battle royal, but also walks away the victor in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, the XEW champion, Nelson Rude, will go into this triple threat matchup between T Jacobson. So here we go. Non-title triple threat matchup coming up next here in the mid card. EW.
Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as the bell rings here in this triple threat match, the champion will slide out of the ring immediately to avoid the collision between these two men. Here we go. BG Nelson Lee, the ex EW Super Bowl. Puts down Cranio Ray with a big time slam and then turns his attentions to. Joe Jacobson. And I'm going to tell you what, the champion is the champion for a reason. And he is showing it here in the opening moments of this matchup. Nelson Lee, the stranger, the stranger to Triple Threat Group. And the resolution in the main event versus Jeremy Barmore. And Later on tonight, we're going to find out who Nelson Reeves' next number one contender, contender will be. Yes. Nelson Reeves is just demolishing these two in this triple threat matchup. And the leader of the Cowboys from Hell is going on. Here's the matchup. Remember, fans, this is a non fatal matchup here this evening. Nelson Lee's belt is not on the line. And Lee just gets thrown completely out of the room here by Joe Jacobson. And he, a longtime rival. Maneuver there went for the pin, but as soon as he does, Nelson Reed to break it up. Look out. Nelson Reed now turns his attentions to Calypso as Cranio Ray is on the outside. He goes for the submission attempt, but it looks like the champion breaks his way out of it. Now all three men back in the ring. Nelson Reed gets chucked oops here and then whipped. Unceremoniously back to the inside. And look out, Calypso nails that patented super quick there on the champion. Goes for a pin, but to no avail. This matchup will continue. Going away, and the skull cane going at it once more. After that drop kick, Calypso goes to the outside. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nelson Reed is now back on his feet. Ooh, let's take down there. Bye. I don't know if Calypso would have got there in time. Nonetheless. He kicked out. That being Nelson Reed. And this matchup will continue. Triple threat matchup. And the champion is just getting the high holy hell beaten out of him. Uh-oh. Plenty of way. The Skull King has his patented arm ball uh, latch on. For Vale here. As this matchup will continue, Calypso fights his way out of the arm bar attempt here. Look out, Nelson Reed's back up. Ooh, and the drive back to four by Nelson Reed. Went for something there, but to no avail. Could have been a neck breaker of sorts. Finishing the Ooh, 
beautiful neck breaker there. Uh oh. And when the lips are rolling out of the ring, Cranio Ray locks in the arm bar, the patented arm bar submission attempt here. The rolling arm bar is locked in here, but no. He fights his way out of it and. All three men once again back in the ring. These guys caught it out here for a way as well. Hurricane went for the pin attempt off of that. That's another thing. Ooh, my goodness. What a new bear by you. Match the down the opponent, Joe Jacobson. Instead, he's got a hold of him. Power driver there by Nelson Rude. And the champion goes for the pin off that one. To no going away to break up the pinfall attempt there. Going for something there. Instead of reversal by Cranio Ray. Ooh, and Paul Look out. Flying neck breaker by the wild cowboy. Blazing saddles to next, and he's going for the pin off the finisher. Two and no, not enough to put away. The champion gets busted open, sent to the outside, and the legends look like they're going to decide it here tonight. One, two, no, two. The referee made a mistake here, or perhaps I didn't see it that well. Nonetheless, Cranio Ray gets the three count before the Wild Cowboy can break it up. And your victor here this evening, the winner. Wow. He may have been screwed, but he was not the man who was pinned. So, I uh, didn't really lose any momentum if you ask me. Nonetheless, your victor here this evening, Cranio Ray, in this mid card triple threat matchup here tonight on XEW. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next two Mastodons. Like I said earlier this evening, it will be. Pain and Iron Dragunov looking to lock horns here. We're going to find out who is the dominant big man here with us in extreme elite wrestling. The American Pain tonight on Extreme. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. XEW, Rec Center in downtown Baltimore. Let's see who's going to be the man in this singles matchup right here this evening. And here we go. Making his way down to the ring first. And we don't Payne is a hell of a contender here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to find out who's the man in this matchup here this evening.
And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, last time we saw Iron Dragunov, he took out the competition in less than two minutes. That being the great Gregory. Can he keep the undefeated streak alive here tonight? We shall find out right here on XCW. Pain goes one on one with the Russian Iron Dragunov. Legendary Pain has been seen in a lot of different companies, not just XEW. We've also seen him in uh, IWL as well as NCW. But here tonight, Pain has ever come making his way to the Iron Dragonov. Chains ready. Rock and roll. And you believe this monster is about to be unchained here tonight. Unleash the massive Russian Iron Trail. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pain and Iron Dragunov one on one. We saw an Iron Dragunov walk through the competition last time. Let's see how he does here tonight against Pain. And look at this. Already Pain has gotten in more offense against Iron Dragunov than his last opponent. Uh oh, nice one. I'm gonna tell you what. Iron Dragunov. He might be getting his ass kicked here tonight. The uh, undefeated streak made transfer over to Payne. And look at the big Russian man looking to build some momentum. Good God! I've never seen anyone manhandle Payne quite like this, ladies and gentlemen. The big Russian bear is just taking it to pain. Look at that look, he was some sort of a cruiserweight. Good God, Iron Dragunov is going off here tonight. But just like that, pain back in control. These two looking to go toe to toe here. And XEW. Look at the strength here of Iron Dragunov. Suplex on the outside. Pains that kicked in the back and comes right back. A kick to the chest, and it doesn't even phase Iron Dragunov. Certainly doesn't knock him off his feet. Big time. Head went to the face after clawing his entire skull in the palm of his hand. Pain and Iron Dragunov going at it here. Reverses back and forth. Close around, doesn't take the big man off his feet. Instead, He's got pain up in the air. Beautiful slam out of the gorilla press. 
Iron Dragunov. Got him up once again, and we've seen this submission maneuver before by Iron Dragunov. A modified torture rack. Not enough to get the job done. Instead, an arm drag to fight his way out of it, and Payne is back in this match, but a clothesline quickly to put down the big man. Payne is trying to fight his way out of it. Instead, he gets caught. Oh my God, a chip power. Only a one count. Payne is showing everybody durability and uh, endurance he is in that big boot just like that takes pain off of his feet and look out pain could be in trouble here ladies and gentlemen he's got him up crucifix power by one two three and just like that iron Dragunov remains undefeated holy hell who can stop this man iron Dragunov puts down pain i'm not gonna say with ease but nonetheless puts him down. The big Russian walks away the victor here tonight in XCW. And now, fans, coming up next, we got a tag team matchup. The tag team champions, Shinigami and Anarchy, in a non-title matchup, take on Alex Hero and Bryce Canyon, the race. Right here tonight in tag team action. And fans, for myself... I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a little short intermission. Please enjoy the show, this tag team matchup between the tag team champions and the race in my absence.
All right. Hope everybody enjoyed the tag match during the interview mission. Looks like a beautiful suplex there to the outside. And Shinigami will just slide in the ring after banging his face off the apron. And the tag team champions win this tag team match up here tonight via count out. The race loses here tonight to Shinigami and Anarchy. Anarchy and Shinigami get their job done here tonight in this tag team matchup. This is why these two of the tag team champions. Congratulations to Shinigami and Anarchy on their count out victory here tonight. And now, fans, coming up next, we have a triple threat matchup. PDP and Turbo were having a matchup last time we saw XEW. And <clears throat> and uh, it was Rick Stu who came out and actually tried to cost, uh, I believe, Turbo by attacking him behind the referee's back. Nonetheless, the matchup continued. Bo would walk away. We now, we'll collide here tonight at, at XEW in a triple threat matchup. Just to give you guys a recap here tonight, uh, the winner of the pre-show Battle Royal was Mike Miller. And then uh, we had Paulo Braga and Vladimir Kuznetsov had a little run-in uh, as far as promo battle back and forth. As well as the victor of the tag team match we just saw, uh, Shinigami and Anarchy. And then we also saw Joel Wright put down Liam uh, Aldrich. And now, here tonight, ready to go for this triple threat matchup. And now, introducing first, making his way down to the ring on his uh, redneck ATV. Here he is, the one and only Rick Stew. Rick Stu, for some reason, got involved in the matchup last week. And now, he's getting his hands on not only PDP, but also Turbo. Getting in between the two of them. Here we go, triple threat action right here tonight. And this Baltimore crowd is ready to see a beaten. We've already seen one triple threat matchup earlier tonight where the Skull King ended up getting a victory, uh, pinning Joe Jacobson before the XEW champion could break it up. That being Nelson Reed. And now the next man in this triple threat matchup makes his way down to the ring. Here he is, the one and only Turbo. So here comes Turbo now, ladies and gentlemen. Turbo, an accomplished wrestler to say the least. We've seen him in NCW along with the likes of other uh, <coughs> promotions. But here we go. This man, like I said, very accomplished. Has family that is very accomplished in call. But he's looking to make a name for himself here with us in XEW in this brand new Extreme Elite Wrestling we're going to see how he fares as he steps into this triple 
thread matching. And Turbo certainly looks ready to get a little revenge here tonight against the man who got involved in his and PDP's matchup. The Vans, don't forget, we still got uh, the first two matches in the tournament still to come. The International Championship. Now, the entire tournament's not going to happen tonight. However, the first two matches in the opening round, we will see right here this evening. And now, the last man making his way down to the ring. Here he is, the one and only, the menace, PDP. PDP and Turbo, their rivalry is historic. It goes back further than the creation of this company for sure. Certainly, have, they, these two have battled each other all over the globe. And here tonight, Baltimore, Maryland, PDP. And Turbo looking to go one more time, this time with a guy who got involved in their matchup last time. Rick Stu. Tonight, in a triple threat matchup here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here we go, PDP, Rick Stu, and Turbo. Triple threat matchup. And as fans, as we already know, triple threat match. Anything goes. No count outs, no disqualification. And this PDP going right after Rick Stu. Rick Stu just drops him down and now blatantly choking him in front of the referee. Oh. Vicious knee to the hips to fight his way out of that submission. And look out, the power of Turbo is on display. And look at Turbo go. Oh my goodness, a German suplex to Rick Stu. You got to believe that's what he's been involved in their singles matchup at Resolution. Look at this, PDP's just gonna sit back and watch Rick Stu get destroyed here by Turbo. Instead, ooh, PDP, the athleticism of the big man on display with that powerful drop kick and then follows it up with a nice super kick to put down Turbo. Turbo rolls out of the ring, leaving PDP and Rick Stu as the two men inside the ring. And the bionic uh, redneck, that trailblazing trailer trash coming at it here. Oh, look out. Big time shoulder block. Knocking Rick Stu off of PDP's shoulders as he crashes to the floor or the mat below. Reversals back and forth by the two riders. Beautiful running Spanish fly. Just everyone breaking up everybody's maneuvers there. Nice Saido suplex there by PDP, and he just chucks Rick Stu out of the ring. 
I thought it was going to be so he and Turbo could fight. And it looks like that is the case as he heads back in the ring here. Turbo and PDP. The only two men to populate the ring here. Uh-oh. Turbo's got PDP up. And a beautiful patent maneuver there by Turbo. Putting down PDP, but he gets right back up. Look at that. A running duck under. And then picks him up into a rib break. And the athleticism of PDP is certainly on display here. Uh-oh, PDP missed him with a flying forearm and takes down the referee instead. And now, Rick Stu going off here, targeting the arm of PDP. Uh-oh. Look at this. Got a form of a mandible claw on Turbo there and puts it right down. Using it as a form of a grapple as he puts him in with what looked like a back wheel trip. But Turbo is right back up on a thunderous clothesline in the corner, taking down Rick Stewart. Ooh! The athletic drop kick on display once again. Oh, and Rick Stewart turns around right into a super kick by PDP. And PDP with the code breaker. PDP's been using that as a finisher as of late. And it goes for the pin off of that. Only a one count there as this matchup will continue. PDP puts down Rick Stewart. Now goes for another pin. And before the referee can get down the leading count of one, Turbo's back in the ring. And Turbo goes for the pin on Rick Stewart. Both of these men just want to pin Rick Stewart just so they can hold it over his head. Uh -oh. PDP and take it to the outside here. Turbo in a bad way. PDP dives through the bottom ropes and puts him down with a thunderous torpedo DDT. Chucking his opponent back in the ring here. Look out a flying forearm smash. Puts down Rick Stewart going for the pin on the Bionic Redneck. One. Only a one count. This matchup will continue for now. Look at that, just driving the man right into the temple of Rick Stewart. Goes for a pin once again. Turbo is up there. Turbo breaks up the pinfall attempt. Uh-oh. Big time. Power slam. And PDP is rolling out of the ring, leaving Rick Stewart and Turbo to battle here in the XCW ring. These fans in Baltimore are ready for a show here. Look out. Going for a pin off of that. One. Only a one count there as PDP breaks up the pinball attempt. Oh, PDP looked like he lifted him up for a back suplex, but Turbo to re reverse in midair. Lands right on top of PDP. And PDP gets put down with another one of those slams there. Going for a belly to belly on Rick Stewart. But Rick Stewart battles his way out of it. Uh oh. And Rick Stewart got him by the throat. Multiple chops and then covers it up with a super kick. Turbo rolls out of the ring. Going for the pin. PDP. But no. Not enough to get the job done here. Rick Stu now got a hold of PDP's arm. But PDP battles his way over the, out of the overhead hammer lock. And PDP got him a big time. Schoolboy power bomb. And now PDP going for the pen. One, two, not enough to put away Rick Stu. Turbo back in the ring here. Uh-oh. Ooh, Turbo looks like he is busted open. PDP is 
uppercut there. Only a two count there. This matchup will continue. Uh-oh. Look at that. Reversal by PDP into a reverse DDT. And now PDP thought he was going to go to the outside and do battle with Turbo. Instead, both men make their way back into the ring. PDP gets caught. Double team, double gut buster. And PDP is down. Reversal there by Rick Stu. Wait a minute. Rick Stu's got it. Trent Park Trailblazer goes for the pin. His leg was on the rope. But instead, he gets a shoulder up. No disqualification. I don't think no break is in effect either. Though, is in. His finishing maneuver. Uh oh. And look at this. He just dropped PDP in mid air and caught him with a rib breaker. Now. Looking to go for the pin off that reverse at one. Two and still not enough to put away the mix. PDP fights his way back into this. Rick Stu thrown into the corner, but a reversal by Stu. Multiple back and forth. Puts down Rick Stu with the shin breaker. Looking to get the pin off of that. But Turbo gets back in the ring. And look at this, yet again. Turbo and PDP fighting over who's going to pin Rick Stu. Uh oh. Look out. PDP hung up on the apron with that neck breaker through the ropes. That modified reverse neck breaker. Look at Turbo go. And then rolls him into a penalty. Two. Whoa. PDP gets a shoulder up and it looks like he was trying to break up the pin, but instead he took out the referee. Did Rick Stu and now Rick Stu gets put down with a big ending there by Turbo. And now Turbo has him in a submission attempt here with the referee down. Standing switch finds his way back to his feet. Instead, he's caught in the corner here. And good God, Turbo just chucking halfway across the ring here. Uh-oh. Turbo trying to pick up PDP, but PDP fights his way out of it. Now it's down to these two. The way it always should have been. PDP and Turbo. Wait a minute. Super kick there by Turbo. Puts down PDP. And PDP is forced to roll to the outside here. Turbo in hot pursuit. These two looking to do battle on the floor. Here in the downtown. Baltimore Rex Center. Big time. Big food to the side of the temple. And look out. Rick Stu now back in the ring with Turbo. Got a hold of him. Big time. Thunderous slam. Rick Stu going for the pin. And Rick Stu gets the job done here. Getting the pin on Turbo. Wow. Big time shot there by Rick Stu. Beautiful super kick as he had moments of uh, awesomeness, if you will, and, great, and a great showing by all three men. Nonetheless, your victor here tonight. And that's where uh, PDP got busted open with that uppercut there, ladies and gentlemen. Nonetheless, Rick Stu. Gets the pin on his opponent, Turbo, here this evening. Rick Stu looking to show everybody what he's got here. Fans, I don't know if this war between these three men 
is quite over yet. Nonetheless, your winner here in this triple threat matchup here this evening, Rick Stew. And fans, as promised, we got two matches coming at you. Here you see the tournament board for the XEW International Championship. One of these eight men will win this tournament and be crowned the first ever international champion. But who will it be? Nonetheless, here we go. Our first match in the tournament here. It's going to be Ace Crow and Christian Kai. Right here tonight on XEW. This is an elimination matchup in, ladies and gentlemen. Who will walk away the victor? Will it be Ace Crow or will it be Christian Kai? Both men have uh, some experience. Call Christian Kai is a. A little bit newer to the car scene. And uh, we're going to see who wins here tonight on XEW. The bell is sounded, and here we go. Ace Crow and Christian Kyle. As soon as the bell sounds, Ace Crow is in complete control here of Christian Kai, but only momentarily. Look at this. Reversals back and forth by both men in a beautiful start. Get full knee braces into the face of Christian Kai. Ace Crow can uh, brawl, but he's certainly more of a hot wire. And as I say that, he goes straight to the top rope. Looks like Ace Crow perched atop the Crow's nest. Perhaps looking to fly here. Christian Kai. Oh, gets out of the way. This singles matchup. These two brawling on the outside. Remember, fans, if they get disqualified, if one man gets disqualified, that is, he will be eliminated from the tournament. This is a tournament eliminator in the opening round of this eight-man tournament for the International Championship. And Ace Crow went for, oh, went for something there, but instead gets reversed at Christian Kai with a Saido suplex out of desperation puts down Ace Crow. And look at this. Not allowing him to get where Chris stays away. Boot to the pit to follow. Now, Christian Kai in complete control of Ace Crow. Got him up. Death Valley Destroyer. And then rolls into the pin. One, two, not enough to put away the Crow. This matchup continues. Christian Kai in control, but maybe not for long. Look out. Close line of desperation there. Ace Crow takes, the, takes him down. But Christian Kai right back in the driver's truck. Two. Uh oh. Went for something there. But he fights his way out of the full now from the referee calling a counting as both men are on the outside. Now they have made their way back to the inside of the ring. Christian Kai fighting his way back in it. And 
look at this. The Muay Thai expert. The from the full clinch. Knees to the body. Now, Pro looking to spread his wings and fly once again. Oh, and a slingshot spear through the ropes here. Pro now looking for it. Oh, the Crow's call goes for the pin off that shining wizard. Two and still not enough. Both men have taken each other's finishers and still will not go down. That's reversal jump there for Tiger Suplex. Christian Kyle. And look at that. Yet again, caught him again with this combination. Boot to the head and a spinning rear kick to follow. I thought Christian Kai was a little bit more of a high flyer, but he's actually going to be uh, quite a striker here in this matchup here this evening. Christian Kai now throws him out of the ring. And look out, dives between them. Beautiful two. Three's count is at a three, and these two continue to do battle on the outside. out Christian Kai back in the ring his opponent ace crow to follow got him out a beautiful reverse uh, lifting reverse DDT of sorts Christian Kai now look out Christian Kai is feeling it here comes the natural beautiful drop kick there. And look at this. He found him to perhaps a wick. Fights his way back in it. Look out, he caught him again. Another shining wizard this time busting open his opponent. And he's going for the pin off that wizard. Two and three, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner here this evening and moving on is the tournament for the International Championship. The one and only Ace Crow. Saw the death roll, Chris, and I'm one those beautiful shining wizard attacks by Ace Crow. The second one, the knee brace connected to the forehead and busted open his opponent, and that was enough to get the job done here this evening. Ace Crow, your victor here and moving on in the International Championship Tournament. Congrats on who in Baltimore, Maryland. And now, fans, we've already seen one matchup, and we move on to the next one. Here we go. Co-main event of the evening for Maddox goes one-on-one -on -one with uh, Shiro Toshiyuki. Battle Royal. Reefer was actually the number one entrant. And here tonight, he looks to go one on one with Shiro Toshiyuki in this, our co matchup. We haven't seen Reefer Maddox in Carl Wrestling in quite some time, a few years actually. But nonetheless, he has made his return to uh, Carl Wrestling. And Reefer Maddox looking to go one on one here with Shiro Toshiyuki. We'll find out who's going to move on here in the international championship matchup and here we go Reefer who's going to move on here in the championship tournament 
Ooh, beautiful sliding flat line of bone by the Proton God known only as Reefer Maddox. Reefer Maddox, of course, you can tell by his name, he's got a lot of smoking weed and he loves kicking ass. And you gotta believe he ain't got the weed smoke right now. But the ass is just about to get kicked and look out. Super Reefer Mal. Ma Taking it to Shiro Toshiyuki. And look at that, driving the knees right into the back of Shiro Toshiyuki. Picks up his opponent now, and look at this. Now, beautiful one-armed push-ups. Keeps down Shiro Toshi. Oh, enough the flexibility with that kick there to the top of the head. And look at that. Reversals by both men. Back and forth here. Uh-oh. Informatics now. Full to Shiro. But no. Reversal by Toshi Yuki. Toshi Yuki reverses here. And now he's got him hooked up. Oh, Toshi Yuki going for the thing off of that. His finishing maneuver. Could it be enough? No. Not enough. The puddles. Dragon Cutter. Only gets him a two count, though, as Reefer Maddox will remain in the matchup here. And Shiro begging. His opponent, Reefer Maddox, to get up. Reefer, uh oh, look at that. Reefer fighting back, though, but only getting caught by Shiro. And now Shiro looking to show off his submission game as he's got him. And look at this. Locks in and his opponent, Reefer Maddox, in here. Yet again, Reefer Maddox fights his way out of it here. Reefer, though, picks up his opponent. Got him on the ropes here. Picks him up. Uh-oh. What's he got? Ooh! Beautiful corkscrew suplex. Uh, after suspending his feet over the top rope. Shiro runs in, tries to take him down, but instead gets caught with a DDT. And look out. He's dead. Nice back this there. I'll tell you what. Reefer Maddox is showing everybody what he's got here. And now takes Shiro to the corner and bangs his head off the top turnbuckle multiple times. Ten times and one for good measure. Look out. Oh my goodness. Locks him up in the 420 lock. His submission maneuver here. But no, Shiro Toshiyuki fights his way out of it here. Shiro now. Got a hold of Reefer Maddox. Uh -oh. Hanging him upside down in the tree and low. Kicks him right in the gut. Now Shiro begging his opponent to get up here. What is Shiro looking for here? Dives off the top rope with a missile drop kick, but misses here. Uh oh, here comes Shiro. Look out, schoolboy. Ooh, and a beautiful kick to the top of the head there. Connects his uh, top of the foot right to the temple. But look out. Here comes Reefer Maddox. And no, Shiro with a much needed reversal. Shiro now has a hold of Reefer Maddox and just dumps him all the way to the outside. Shiro now on the outside with Reefer Maddox. Nice reversal there by Maddox and quickly he hits the ring. But no, Shiro drops his throat across the top rope. Little trickery there by Toshiyuki and look out, he's right back in control. Toshiyuki now backed off, waiting for Reefer to get to his feet. And another dragon cutter this time. Busting him open. It could be over, but no. A kick out there by Reefer Maddox. And this matchup continues here in our co-main event. Shiro Toshiyuki 
versus Reaper Maddox. Ooh. What a model. Pump handle face buster. And I'm going to tell you what, Reaper Maddox is busted open here, ladies and gentlemen. He is not looking good for the weed smoking king here. Uh oh. Got him once again. And another one of those removers there. Busting him open, but he's in the ropes and he is broken up here. Reaper Maddox desperately needs a reversal here. This matchup is not looking good for Reefer. Nice reversal there by Reefer Maddox. Reefer now. Throws him in the head. Nice back fist to follow. Uh-oh. Reefer taking him to the top rope here. Maddox looking for perhaps a super class all the way to the outside on the floor. Striking battle continues here. And both men simultaneously make their way back to the inside, but Shiro it gets there first and hits him with a Saido suplex. Shiro Toshiyuki in complete control here of Reefer Maddox. Takes him to the corner here. Uh-oh. What is Shiro looking for? He takes him all the way to the top of no reversal there. By Reaper Maddox in a big time German suplex there by the weed smoking machine. Uh oh. Stomps him down. What the hell is he looking for here? He's backed off. He takes off running. Look at this. Got him in a hammer lock of sorts. I'm sure that's not what he was looking for. Instead, he gets reversed here by Shiro Toshiyuki. Toshiyuki now takes him all the way to the ropes. Look out. And comes down with another one of those dragon cutters. That's got to be it here. Shiro going for the pin. Two and three. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Moving on in the tournament. Shiro Toshiyuki. Reefer Maddox had a great showing here off his uh, prowess, if you will. But nonetheless, gets taken out in the tournament by Shiro Toshiyuki. The winner here this evening and moving on in the tournament. Shiro Toshiyuki. Congratulations to the young Japanese star that modified Kravate uh, Neckbreaker, if you will, a diamond cutter of sorts. Makes his way, gets his way rather, through the tournament and he moves on to the next round. Well, fans, that was our co-main event of the evening, and what a wild one it was. We've already seen two matches in the opening round of the tournament. There you see Ace Crow has moved on by beating Christian Kai, and Reefer Maddox was eliminated just now by Shiro Toshiyuki. Next week, we will see Blake Albright and TJ Black go one-on-one -on -one to see who's going to face Ace Crow in the next round. Then also, the machine Mike Miller takes on Chris Canyon. They'll find out who's going to take on Shiro Toshiyuki in the next round. And it's all to crown the XEW's first ever XEW International Champion.
We've already had a lot of great matches here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Those two tournament matches that we saw. We also saw two triple threats, uh, which saw the, the Skull King, Cranio Ray, walk away with one victory. And then in the other one, Rick Stu would end up getting the, the pinfall on uh, <clears throat> Turbo. Seen a lot of great matches here tonight on Extreme Elite Wrestling. And as you can see, we also saw the Tag Team Champions get a victory and uh, a count-out victory over Canyon and Alex Hero. We also saw, I also saw Iron Dragunov defeat Payne in not quite two minutes, but still undefeated is Iron Dragunov. Uh, and then, of course, the two rookies debuting here tonight, Joel Wright, put away Liam Aldrich. So, great thus far, ladies and gentlemen, and time of the evening. Fatal f ladder match. Who is number one contender? Nelson Rude's XEW Championship. Go, the Cousins of K compete in tag team tonight. It's all about Lori as John Kenny and Jeremy Barmore. Join Daisuke Karichi and the debuting Tom Fullery. And we're going to find out who's going to be the tender to the XEW Championship. Nelson Rude anxiously awaits to see who's going to walk away the victor here in this matchup, and who will challenge him next for the XEW Championship. Right here tonight, ladder match, fatal four-way style. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of story behind this. Jeremy Barmore and Daisuke Karichi could have been the champion right now head in for Nelson Rude winning the triple threat matchup for the championship at Resolution so these two get one more shot to see if they get the number one contender, but also they have to step in the ring with not only Tari, but also Jeremy Barmore's own cousin, cousin of chaos, if you will, Sean Kenny. Right here tonight, these four men are looking to do battle with a championship opportunity hanging above the ring, fatal four-way ladder match, Main event, XEW episode two. We go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first man making his way down to the ring, representing the Cousins of Chaos. Jeremy Barmore. Jeremy Barmore could have been champion right now if it wasn't for Nelson Rude winning the championship matchup at Resolution. But now he gets one more shot to perhaps become the XCW champion in the future. All he's got to do is win this number one contendership ladder match against not only the debuting Tom Foley, not only the man he fought in the championship, the, also, the other competitor that did not win the match, Daisuke Karichi, but also his own tag team partner, Sean Kenny. A lot on the line here tonight for Jeremy Barmer. And now the next man. Making his way down to the ring, hailing from Japan, the one and only Daisuke Kuichi. Daisuke Kuichi on his way down to the ring here, ladies and gentlemen. Kuichi is ready to do battle once again 
in XEW. He believes he could have walked away with the championship had it been a singles matchup. But you better believe if he wins here tonight, he will get his opportunity at the XEW championship. All he's got to do is climb a ladder and pull down the briefcase that has the contract inside for the very next XEW championship match. And now, the next man, making his way down to the ring, making his debut here with us in XEW, the one, the only, Tom Fullery. So Tom Fullery, ready to rock and roll here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see how he fares in his very first matchup here. And he looks like he is ready to go. He looks like he's ready to party and wrestle at the same damn time. I'm going to tell you what. Tom Fullery, I've never seen a man quite like this. Actually, I have. I've seen many. I've seen hundreds of different car wrestlers over my 10-plus year career as a commentator. But nonetheless, we're going to see how he fares as he steps into this matchup here. Tom Fullery, ready to rock and roll here in this match. You gotta believe this is a big opportunity for Tom Fuller. His opening uh, debut matchup in the main event of XEW, fighting for a chance to see if he's the next number one contender to take on Nelson Reed. And now, the last man makes his way down to the ring. This man is a multiple-time tag team champion with his cousin, Jeremy Baltimore, who is also in this match. But not only that, we've also seen him hold singles gold in the past in multiple different companies. And now, we're going to see if Sean Kenny can climb the ladder and the proverbial mountain once again to get yet another shot at another singles title. I'm going to tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Kenny, back in NCW in 2017, this man held the Livewire Championship, which was their top E-Fed title for nearly a year. So this guy knows what it's like to be dominant in a singles division. Here we go, Jeremy Barmore, Daisuke Karichi, Tom Fullery and Sean King. A fatal four way match. Who's going to walk away? The number one contender here. Nelson Reed's XEW Championship. Here we go. Main event here, ladies and gentlemen, too. The XEW. Oh, uh, main event of XEW. The number one contendership, too. XEW and already, we got two separate brawls going on here. As Jeremy Ballmer is just beating me high holy hell out of Tom Fuller in his debut matchup here on the outside. Meanwhile, Kenny and Daisuke Karichi are battling it out in the other end of the, uh, of the uh, ringside. Nonetheless, it looks like Sean Kenny is going to be the first man to get his hands on the steel ladder and take it right to Daisuke Karichi on the outside. The Cousins of Chaos are certainly separated. They, they have an idea, or excuse me, a game plan when it comes to the other competitors in this matchup. And that is Divide. Conquer and destroy. Ooh, nice hook on that. Spiking Jeremy Barnwell's head in the ring here. Tom Fullery showing everybody what he's got. Big time. Choke slam on the outside to Daisuke Koichi. Koichi now 
Ooh, rip pulled me to the face. Puts down Sean Kenny on the outside. Tom Fuller. Now on the outside doing battle with Jeremy Balmo. Balmo now. Ooh, puts down Tom Fuller. And it looks like Kalucci and Balmo looking to meet in the center of the ring. And look out, the legend maker puts down Balmore. He is down. But here comes Sean Kenny and Tom Fullery before the ladder can even get set up. This matchup is all over the place. Speaking of all over the place, Sean Kenny's dice getting Kalucci flying. And now the Cousins look to do battle. He's got a hold of his little cousin. Look out, Barmore gets put down after he gets grabbed by the throat of these two that had fought before. And now they're looking to do battle once again. Good God, Barmore not holding back when it comes to fighting his cousin, Sean Kenny. And look at this, he went for the belly to Barmore there on Tom Fuller, but Fuller first there. Look at this. Fuller looking to knock up Jeremy Barmore and kick him out of the ass, and he does. And now, with Kalucci distracted on the outside with Sean King, Tom Fuller has got all the time in the world to set up the ladder in the center of the ring, and now the little tiny cruiserweight that is Tom Fuller. Climbs to the top, and he's looking to become the number one contender. Meanwhile, oh, a competitor into the ring, and Tom Fuller takes a spin. It looks like he is ooh, out of the ring. And speaking of out of here, trying to toss him out of this world, Sean Kenny just drops. Not only Jeremy Barmore, but Dice Gate Karichi. Sean Kenny could be looking to become the number one contender right here. Neal's his own cousin with a ladder shot. And another one for Lane out yet again. But here comes Daisuke. Uh-oh. Daisuke could be looking for another one of those legend makers. Oh! And this time he gets it on Sean Kenny instead. Sean Kenny just gets right back up and he drops him with a DDT. Down goes Daisuke Karichi. Meanwhile, what is it got playing here? Ladder shot takes out a Kalichi. And a big time uppercut there. Puts down Tom Fuller. He's back up, but sent to the outside. The Cousins of Chaos have cleared the ring. And now, Barmore and Kenny look to do battle here. The only two in the ring. Uh oh. Sean Kenny sends him to the outside. Daisuke Karichi could be in trouble here because Sean Kenny meets him halfway, looking to lay him out here. Meanwhile, Tom Fullery. Oh, look at power by Oh, backstabbing by Tom Fullery, putting down Jeremy Barmore. Fullery gets sent to the outside, right on top of his cousin, Jeremy Barmore. The ring is cleared out. Everybody is down, and Sean Kenny has the ladder. And he lays out Daisuke Karichi. Now with Jeremy Barmore looking to clear the cobwebs, Sean Kenny is climbing to the top. Does Daisuke Karichi have what it takes? To push the ladder over. No, he does not. And it looks like with Barmore down, Karichi is not strong enough. It's Tom Fullery to break that up. But fans, it may very well be over as Sean Kenny is trying to pull down the briefcase. And it doesn't look like Tom Fullery is going to stop him. He's not. Your number one contender here, ladies and gentlemen, is Sean Kenny. Wow. Kenny wins the number one contendership here, ladies and gentlemen.
and he will be the next competitor to challenge for the XEW Championship. Wow. Beautiful maneuvers by all men involved. Everybody gave it their all, maybe not so much. Tom Fullery at the end, when he just stared down Daisuke Karichi, but nonetheless, that doesn't matter because your winner and the new number one contender to the XEW Championship is Sean Kenny. Congratulations to him here tonight. Fans, that's all we got for you here on XEW Episode 2. We'd like to thank you all for joining us, and we hope to catch you next time on Extreme Elite Wrestling. Live here from Baltimore, Maryland, I have been your host for the evening, Joshua Little. Good fight, and good night.